Hey everyone, I'm here with a video on Eventide Island. It is in the very bottom right hand corner of the map. So the very southeastern corner uh, is this tiny little island you gotta sail to, but I recommend that when your sailboat gets close, um, that you save before you step on the island. Because the moment you do, all of your equipment gets taken away from you and you lose the ability to save. Anyways, you should arrive around this shore over here because... Uh, one of the boats or one of the rafts that you can take is pretty much right at the, you know, the corner of the map. So it's like a straight sail out here. So if you walk along the coast, you can come up to this area where you have to, uh, get the first little ball inside this platform. And what I do is I use a uh, magnesis to pick up this, uh, metal box here. And then you put it between the, uh, bokoblins and these, uh, chews. So that way the shock from the chews shocks the bokoblins and then uh, then I just clean them up by using the box as a weapon. So that's how I take out the chews and that's how I take out those uh, goblins without ever having to use a weapon. For this part, uh, when you're fighting the giant, you should see him down there below uh, from where you just took those guys out. Where the first platform is or where the first thing is um, for uh, the little ball or whatever. So push these two rocks down at him, you get a little bit of damage. I think the second rock I push misses, so try to be quick with it. Um, and then I try to hit him with a couple bombs and that doesn't really work out. So go ahead and pick up these like TNT things right here and throw those at him for a bit of damage depending how well you place them. Um, they will stun him, so theoretically if you had a sword at this point then you could go in there for, uh, for a few swings. But the main portion of the fight, how I do it, pretty much how I get most damage in, is use Magnesis and just smack his head back and forth, just give him the old slaps across the cheek. And uh, there are plenty of these like metal crates around the island, so you could just, you know, keep luring him around, trying to do it that way, or run away, and if you stay away far enough, he'll just go back to sleep. Um, but then since I've completed the Gerudo Temple, what I end up doing is just using... Uh, the ability here to get a big shock in and that does tons of damage um so yeah i just kind of cheese it that way um i did this fight he actually killed me the first time that i came here and i had him down to like three more hits and then i was just like screw it i'm gonna go in uh so it isn't too hard to do if you just like keep back flipping his hits and staying beneath his feet and if you hit him with those explosives like i said it stuns him so you can go in for a few swings Anyways, um, you can take the first ball off of his necklace and place it in that little platform, and there's two more to go. Another thing you can do is, uh, if you if you shoot his necklace with arrows, um, the ball will fall off, and you can just pick it up that way. I tried to do it, but I wasn't successful the first time, so this time I just straight up fought him out of the gate. Because if you come up here first and you take these guys out, you can get a bunch of arrows, but whatever. Uh, for this group of guys though, basically there's only uh, the one big tough guy that you're going to have to deal with. So first, try to take out all these little guys with bombs, and then get ready to equip stasis. So, with stasis, I get this guy on the other side of it, and then I just get ready to launch it. And if you wanted to, um, if the guy could, if you could lead him up here, if you could leave the, the giant up here, I don't think you could, but you could also use that as a launch. Or... You could launch it back the other way towards where the giant is sleeping and then restasis it and relaunch it at him. I've used that trick a ton of times and uh, it really helps taking out a bunch of enemies. So there's one for your for your uh, playbook. Um, anyways, the next one is more towards the northern side. If you sail down here, you can just go ahead and uh, grab the ball and I just start running and you need to run basically to the north northernmost part of uh of this little island and uh, uh get cryonis ready so you'll see here in a second i throw the ball out into the water uh it takes me a second because at first i try to see if i can use magnesis on it but uh that doesn't work so if you just throw this ball out it'll float over and then you use cryonis to get over on this thing but i screw up the placement of it so I have to destroy it and then place it underneath and that one doesn't work so then I place another one that finally works jump across place it in the third one and uh, that's it then a shrine opens up at the top of the island just above where the where I use stasis so you go back over there and you climb up a little bit higher and then that's it that's uh, Eventide Island 
pretty cool little uh little area and there's no puzzle inside this it's one of those uh like blessings or whatever you'll see in a in a second that is quickly cut to it so once i'm inside you just go up to it and you get a free spirit orb and some loot i think it ends up being a gold rupee so you get 300 but uh, that's gonna be it for this one so likes comments always appreciated more zelda content on the way but until next time bye for now